welcome to VDRUM TIPS. In this video we are going to test the Trigera in trick, a dual trigger used to convert acoustic drum shells into e-drum pads. It is made out of steel and painted with this resistant grey color. The head piercers underneath the foam cylinder, which picks up the vibration of the mesh head. It is protected by this little metal pot. The rim sensor is next to the jack plug underneath the foam. You can see a slotted hole in this long mounting bar. The soldering contacts are protected with hot glue, which is a common solution. There is nothing than a screwdriver needed to install this trigger. We are using the shell's lock screws. The head of this shell has been removed already. It is pretty simple to apply the system. We tighten the screws by hand, only for now to keep the trigger movable. Trigera recommends the cylinder to overtop the bearing edge at around 3 mm. A ruler with a marker is the perfect measurement tool. Since the right height is set, the screws can be tightened. This is a really simple and solid solution that requires not much effort. As you can see, the trigger is longer than 12 cm or almost 5 inches. Really flat shells like 3.5 inch snares can only be converted by shortening the trigger. We use a Drumtech series 2 ply mesh head and an R Drums rim silencer. You can see the trigger pressing against the mesh head. Since the mesh head gets pushed down a lot while being hit, it might happen that the mesh touches the metal frame from the trigger and gets damaged. This can easily be avoided by placing the trigger at a specific spot. We recommend placing it pointing towards you, simply because the trigger will most likely not be struck by the stick this way. The stick angle makes it nearly impossible to hit these spots and bend the mesh head downwards there. We try Trigera's recommended setting for Roland modules. This trigger is working with many other e drum brands too. Finding the right setting is not that easy. The sensitivity has to be increased and the threshold decreased. Adjusting the right balance between head and rim trigger is possible through the rim shot adjustment and rim gain. Since a 14 inch head is quite big, we are not done with changing the module settings. The height of the trigger and the head tension has to be changed. Finding the right balance between all those parameters can take a while. The fact that we use a 2 ply mesh head makes the setup process slightly more difficult. A 1 ply mesh head would require less adjustments. The pad works great once the setup is done. It is sensitive, there is no dead spot, no hot spot and both stones trigger well. The trigger keeps the pad noise low and does not increase the weight of the pad much. Now we are testing it as a tom. The trigger is again pointing towards the trauma. It is not 100% as sensitive as for example a Roland trigger, but does still deliver a good result. Trigger systems that pick up the signal near the rim are usually much more sensitive in smaller shells. Let's test the trigger in a bass drum shell. We mount it the same way and place it at around 12 o'clock. As some shells might be closed, we need to use such an air vent adapter cable. We mount the cable and connect it. A 20 inch Trumtech series 2 ply mesh head is getting applied. The position inside the base drum should be near 6 or 12 o'clock. To make sure the distance to both beta impact spots is similar. Setting up the intrig as a base drum trigger is quite easy. Since we use it only as mono trigger. The sensitivity needs to be increased a bit and the threshold decreased.
The Trigara Intrig is a really compact and small system that requires a bit of setup time. But almost no tools and effort to install it. Its price is more than fair and makes it possible to convert a full kit on a low budget. Trigara offers the trigger even in bundles with a discount. Thanks for watching! Click the left box to watch a video about a low budget DIY trigger. Click the box in the middle to see the mesh head test. Or click the right box for a video about air vent cables.